So you have touched on it uh, to a certain extent about the genetic reasons. Uh, you touched on uh, uh, that part, but uh, what about the environmental reasons? What about the self-inflicted reasons? What would be the causes of cancer? See, genes, genetic part is only minimal. Just five to seven percent of the cancers are uh, genetic. Genetic means hereditary. more than 95% of the cancers are acquired either through the environmental factors i will say that uh, cancer is a self inflicted disease and uh, disease of the modern man we keep saying god is responsible god is not responsible we ourselves are responsible who pollutes the atmosphere who pollutes our water who pollutes our air we ourselves are responsible so even environmental factors are changed by us then our own lifestyle the way we live especially in metro cities the way we eat look at the the uh, the hygiene which uh, people have so many factors actually contribute to cancer causation so uh, coming back to uh, what you said 95% it's it's an alarming thing for us to hear so it is possible for us to actually restrain our behavior restrain our activities which would enable us to restrain the disease as a fallout of our behavior yes definitely you see now if you count the causation the well known factors are tobacco chewing smoking to some extent alcohol then uh, the type of food which we take especially in metro cities and uh, uh, the obesity which is a menace in the in the western world as well as in metro cities hardly any exercise the type of food which we eat high fat non vegetarian diet uh, junk food and of course uh, preservatives and pesticides in food the way we cook all these contribute and uh, the, even we say the lifestyles in a way that uh, late marriages everybody wants to stay young nobody no mother wants to feed the child just because uh, she will lose her figure so so many factors are there which have caused all this and if we now change these factors say we say that uh, don't smoke is harmful for you don't chew tobacco alcohol to be kept to the minimum uh, i remember my cardiologist friends they keep saying two packs a day or two packs a week Uh, keeps your heart uh, young uh, fine that may be good for heart but not good for your body uh, you you are predisposed to cancer you may have one disease you may be better off with the other doesn't mean that you start using alcohol so primarily <laughs> if you tinkle with nature nature tinkles with you yes No. so doctor uh, if you can highlight on the various types of cancer that uh, is prevalent and more uh, common for people to know the common cancer amongst uh, women in india are cervical cancer and breast cancer and amongst males it is the uh, head and neck the oral cancer lung cancer and uh, now in the race is uh, prostate cancer if you see uh, women cancers uh, they can't be primarily prevented but they can be screened early virtually cured if you detect cervical cancer and breast cancer early the person is lady is uh, cured to the tune of 90% if it is stage 1 disease or maybe if you detect cervical cancer in pre invasive stage the chances of cure are to the tune of 98 99% uh, 
and if you see the male cancers they can be primarily prevented means i am saying the oral cancer laryngeal cancer and lung cancer are the commonest cancer amongst males that means all of these are related to tobacco chewing and smoking so if you make people aware about the harmful effects of tobacco you can virtually eliminate this disease and tobacco causes rather is responsible for the morbidity in life to the tune of 50% and they say that if you change your lifestyles uh, especially tobacco 35% of the cancers can be prevented and amongst males tobacco being the 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 commonest cause of cancer more than 50% of the male cancers can be prevented if you stop use of tobacco so it's behavioral to yes to yes yes is behavioral so doctor we get to hear of stages and uh, we know higher the stage the more uh, dangerous it becomes for the body and managing cancer so uh, if you can highlight on what these stages are and how uh, you know people can manage those stages before i go to the stages uh, i'll just uh, divide these cancers into two one is solid cancers then the other is liquid form of cancers liquid means uh, we include uh, leukemias that is blood cancers myelomas and lymphomas all other cancers are considered as solid tumors and majority of the cancers have got four stages majority of the solid tumors have got four stages stage 1 2 3 4 four is once a disease is spread to the other parts of the body one and two are generally considered as early stages and amenable to uh, curative treatment the chances of cure are very high in stage 1 and 2 the chances of cure become less in stage 3 and the least in stage 4 so it is imperative to detect these cases in stage 1 and 2 and make the people aware that yes cancer is curable if detected early dr mayanakar stands for positive life and with your positive note i would like to uh, thank you from behalf of all our viewers thank you for your time doctor thank you